Market participants trade in the futures market to make a profit or hedge against losses. Each market calculates movement of price and size differently. As a trader, you will want to be aware of how the market you are trading calculates profit and loss. To determine the profit and loss for each contract, you will need to be aware of the contract size, the tick size, the current price being traded, and what you bought or sold the contract for. Let's look at the WTI crude oil futures contract. This contract represents the expected value of 1,000 barrels of oil. The price of a WTI futures contract is quoted in dollars per barrel. The minimum tick size is one cent. The dollar value of a one tick move is calculated by multiplying the tick size by the size of the contract. For example, the dollar value of a one tick move in WTI is one cent times 1,000 barrels of oil, which equals $10. Calculating profit and loss on a trade is done by multiplying the dollar value of a one-tick move by the number of ticks the futures contract has moved since you purchased the contract. This calculation gives you profit or loss per contract. You need to multiply this number by the number of contracts you own to get the total profit or loss for your position. For example, a trader buys one WTI contract at $53.60. If the price of WTI increases to $54, the price move would then be $54 minus $53.60, which would be $0.40. Cents. Remember, WTI has a tick size of $0.01. Cent. The price moved $0.40. Cents. Therefore, this price move was 40 ticks. A one-tick move is equal to $10, so a gain of 40 ticks would equal a profit of $400. Losses are calculated in exactly the same manner as gains. The size of the contract can have a considerable multiplying effect on a trader's profit or loss. Before entering a position in the futures market, it's critical that a trader understand how any price fluctuation can impact their bottom line. In addition to contract size, it is also important to understand the relationship between the size of the contract and the contract's average daily move. These two numbers can help you determine the potential profit and loss range that could be expected over one trading day.